If we're 114 yeah. episodes into an experiment, I, <laughs> what is the conclusion? Because. Uh. <laughs> Just right. <laughs> right. Conclusion. <laughs> Big fucking waste of time. <laughs> Well, for us, but not for the listeners. Yeah, no, yeah, it's true. Oh, well, uh, can they hear me now? Yes, yes. Can they hear me? Now. Okay, good. We've wasted all your time. Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scramble Brain Twitch Cast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Pell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. Episode 114 and Bowie's Dead! <laughs> <laughs> in the day the music died. In case you missed it, <laughs> yeah. Bowie's died. What the fuck? Let me die that Bowie died. <laughs> who's next? Oh, that's a good question. Who, who's who's, who's just big? Who's I, I've, I've, got, I've got mine. Who you what do you. N- Okay. Uh, My half serious re- answer was David Lee Roth. We were talking earlier. <laughs> I was going to say John Bon Jovi. <laughs> John Bon Jovi, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Paul McCartney. I think that's a good Ooh. guess. Because mm-hmm. there does seem to be a. Uh, there's yeah, a that's thing. right. I They're just all British. Because of Wait, what the about McCar- Ozzy? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ozzy, don't say that. Ozzy's looked, like yeah. yeah. look like looked like he's been on his. Ozzy looks like he's been on his last leg for like the last decade. <laughs> so. What did you say, Ozzy? But, but, yeah. I think you said he's dying. But you know what happened if McCarthy. Or McCarthy. Uh, McCartney. McCartney died. Like the last Beatle. Ringo. Ringo's still. No one gives a shit about Ringo. <laughs> Ooh. The last important Beatle died. Oh, that's right. You all hated then. me. Now I'm the last one. <laughs> and he's yeah, looking a, decent. Yeah, going to play my yeah. drums. That's right. Going Kids, to, be I'm a drummer. Going to set no up kid. my drums. Rock Apparently it's on a the stress graves, reliever. And I'm going to play. Bing, ba ding, ba ding, ba doom. McCarthy looks like he's got about death warmed over. <laughs> going to get high without me friends because they're all in the ground and I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Still making money. <laughs> it's all mine now. Yeah, I know. I saw him on a legacy. commercial. He looks great. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's 50 years old. <laughs> yep. It's that, uh, that vegan diet Paul McCartney's on. Well, no. No, no Ringo. Like Ringo. No, it's killing him. That's, oh, what, yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. You need more animal fats. <laughs> I can see that. Like, Mr. McCartney, you're dying of extreme <laughs> veganism. <laughs> we can only hope. It's <laughs> irreversible. <laughs> That's why he's... What well, if I drink some old broccoli juice? No, no, that's, that's exactly the problem. But I saw it on uh, Iron Man. I can't. <laughs> Just quick, Mr. McCartney, please eat the steak. No, <laughs> kick it back. Start small. Start with grab but me. Bowie, I mean, a lot of people that oh, I've seen, shit. Uh, it's not just his music. You know, a lot of Goblin King names oh, shit, are yeah. up. All day today, I was like, like, between yeah. being depressed, I was like, dance magic, dance. <laughs> like, yeah. Someone said something like, ah, oh, shit, there goes Labyrinth 2. <laughs> you know, something like that. Apparently, he's known for 18 months. And right. they said his last video, he more or less told everybody he was dying. Yeah. So I haven't got to watch it That's yet. That's Yeah, I heard that. Actually, like the whole this whole like album, I guess. I guess he, he just released an album recently. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I guess he's well. He's been dealing with this, what's been happening to him for you know eight yeah a year and a half, and uh, and he's been expressing it in his. What's uh, the name of the album? Tracks, tracks like "I'm Dying, You Idiot." <laughs> I know. I, I think the last video is called Lazarus, but I can't remember. Yeah. It's called something black, big black. Okay, because like there Death's was. Door. I actually the saw him. Is, on a, a commercial yesterday, where excuse me, where he's getting up and he's getting around, and as he walks through his house, there's all the other incarnations of him, you know, Ziggy Stardust and the Goblin. You know, it's like everybody he ever dressed as is all through his house, hmm. and he's they're they're getting into his stuff and they're eating his breakfast and shit. Hmm. Oh, the League of Com- It's less Com- funny Com- now. I can't even say it right now. He was hmm. the sovereign. Oh yeah, the I League mean, of a Calamitous intent. intent. Yeah, turned out they they re they re they retroed that reconned or whatever retconned, retconned yeah. that. But 
It was cool that David Bowie was the head of the whole thing. He, he played Tesla in uh, that movie, The Prestige or The Illusion. No, it was The Prestige. Oh, yeah. Did he? Okay. Yeah. I, he was almost unrecognizable you know as Tesla. Oh, I'm sure. It was he crazy. Actually, yeah. And he, he was, was really, really good. Right. He was in the, this movie called Basquiat that I'm guessing you guys probably never saw. No. Uh-huh. This artist uh, from the 80s. He played uh, Andy Warhol. <laughs> what? And he what? nailed it. It was great. Like. Um, I felt like anyway. Yeah, well, he was in the Hunger. Years, but... Come on, guys, the Hunger. It's a classic. Uh, yeah, the, vampire. the vampire thing. Yeah. What was yeah. that one movie uh, that he was well. in about the guy that fell something? The the man who fell to yeah, earth. Yeah, man who fell yep. to earth. Yeah, classic seventies uh, kind of. I don't know what to call it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a film unto itself. So, uh, on a lighter note. Uh, you know, by the way, happy birthday, Matt. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's how, like I, like I was <laughs> hey. telling the guys, this is what I woke up to this morning. Move your car and Bowie's dead. <laughs> hey. Are those two things related? <laughs> <laughs> Did I run him over? <laughs> you ran over Bowie. There's dark <laughs> and move snowy. your car off Bowie. You're killing him. But uh, WWE announced that Sting will be introduced into the Hall of Fame this year. Oh, yay. Is he going to wrestle again? Well, let's see. He's had two matches and he's failed both times. Let's put well, him that's in the Hall of Fame. Okay, now, the, the, oh, wait. Wrestling the, Hall of Fame? I thought you were yeah, talking wrestling, about wrestling. music Hall of Fame. No, 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 not, no not that Sting. I was just going to say. Throwing up another guy the who first could be the next one. victim. Yeah, that's no true. shit. Oh, Sting. Yeah, damn. I'd see, if he doesn't true. die during a 19 hour tantric sex session, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> well, that's why he got into tantric sex, just to like increase his odds of dying during sex. Well, that's. Mm. No. Just... Now, see, my my theory is we've worked our way through most of the people that were like stars in the 50s and 60s, that mostly what they did was they, they drank a little bit and smoked. Mm-hmm. You know, they got to live to be 70, 80 plus. Now we're getting into the rock gods of the 70s and 80s at this, the horrible drug use. And they're kicking on. How old? Bowie was 69? 69. 69 yeah. There yeah. was a time I did <laughs> Drano. <laughs> yeah. I just drank it. I mean, let me... Lenny, uh, Lenny, Lenny yeah, was Lenny. was eighty, right? I think he was he was. I think he just turned like eighty. Or something like that. Was it yeah, seventy? It, no, I thought he was like seventy-two. I don't, oh, I, I thought know. it was maybe something. Maybe, maybe, maybe it I can't was remember. There, but that was last week. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm I'm betting but, we're going to lose you know, a lot of these. Uh, Lemmy just yeah. would squeeze pure hate from the hearts of his victims <laughs> and just drink it. That yeah. was the drugs he did. I mean, it's insane. Now, now here's a story I wish that you know people could talk about. It. My uh, Triple H from wrestling, Hunter mm-hmm. Hearst Helmsley, uh, was at Lemmy's funeral. Mm-hmm. And had to tell this story about how great Lemmy was and gave him his, the music for his intros. Mm-hmm. And so, there, you know, we always used to party together. And one time, you know, I guess it was shortly after Triple H got married, I said we was at a Motorhead concert, me and my wife. Mm-hmm. And they and Lemmy invited me to backstage. He didn't know I had my wife with me. We opened the door. He said there's like six or seven naked women, big pile of blow on the table. Lemmy comes out and a, and a he's got a he's got a towel on the bottom. He's got like a big turban towel up top. Sees my wife. He oh. goes, oh oh, give me a minute, give me a minute. Go on out, go on. Said so they shut the door. A couple minutes later, they walked back in. Everybody was dressed. The blow was gone. He was a gentleman. <laughs> so really? He's a real gentleman when it comes to. See now you know Triple H's wife is to be like. I wouldn't have been here. What would you have done? <laughs> exactly. Nothing, honey. No, no. Well, see, that's what Lemmy knew. He knew that Triple H would have been deep shit. It's like, what? You thought I didn't know who she was with you. What, 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 yeah, what, but what that's, that, that, that thing's a... I mean, but, okay. We did lose someone else, though. Oh, yes, we did. Angus Scrim. Oh, the tall right. man. The tall, tall man. Yesterday. I can't believe uh, it. Yeah, geez. Well, there's the third, right? Oof, I no. don't think he's the right level. <laughs> no. no. And does he's it, not okay, rock. so not. does it have to be a music... Uh, I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Angus Scrim would only count as a point five yeah. at best. <laughs> yeah, I was disappointed. So we'd have to lose, like you know, he didn't appear. He has, you know, he was, you know, of course, he was the tall man from Phantasm. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but he didn't appear in any of uh, uh, Don Coscarelli's other films. He's the writer director mm-hmm. of the Phantasm movies. He did, you know, like John dies at the end recently. That was, I think. That was oh yeah, one of his more recent movies. I've not seen that. I and need I, to watch that. I I was expecting a little cameo or something, you know. But yeah, that guy. I mean, he's not Tarantino. He's like, he, what somebody said. Like, if you want to work for the rest of your life, get in with Tarantino or Rod, Robert Rodriguez oh. because they'll put you in every <laughs> single like, fucking movie they right. ever make. But I yeah. think actually Angus, he was like more serious actor, and and uh, he was just kind of like a local guy that Coscarelli got 
in for the part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like uh, that movie be an got my or... uncle a love affair with Barracudas. The car. What? Oh, the car. It's like with oh, a fish. Okay. And he, <laughs> <laughs> he the actually, song? he actually Ooh, Barracuda. bought and restored a Barracuda because of that uh, movie. Cause he loved it Cuda. so much. Go get the I love that car. It burned to the ground. What <laughs> it he what it was was uh, my at the time my uncle was single he had it all restored except I think it was like the reflectors on the sides hmm. and uh, he what it was is he he watched a house for a couple snowbirds people that don't know these are older people that have like a house in Florida or somewhere down south and that's where they go in the winter where it's warmer and he would watch their house so he parked his car in this old man's garage well a buddy oh, no. of his hmm. a buddy of his come over. And was spraying, so had an aerosol can working on his truck, threw it in the bottom of a burn barrel. My uncle didn't know it was uh, there, took the trash out, went to burn it. The, the, the can exploded, landed on top of the garage, <laughs> and burned the garage to the ground. Wow. He, he said, Nick, there for a while I had the hottest car in Missouri. <laughs> mm-hmm. but oh, man, it, oh poor, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. But the poor guy, he put so much... Uh, so we're talking about deaths. Here's a, a, a oh, fictional gosh, birth, but a birth nonetheless. Oh, yeah. Roy Battery of Blade Runner's inception date right. was uh, the 8th of this month, January 8th, 2016. Right, I caught that. Which Blade Runner was early 80s? 82? 82. So, yeah, it was. It, this was the far future. Right. You know, 30-plus years in the future. And what was mm. their, uh, they only had a, f- a limited time to live. Did anybody do any research on this? Oh yeah, when's he gonna die? That's a good question. That well, was, then they that have was kind that of the point. He wanted more life. Yeah. What was that test called? Um, oh. It's like you see a turtle on its back. That thing. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. I want to watch Blade Runner again now too. Yeah. See? I'm running. I have movies. I got to watch Labyrinth. They were just talking Blade. about uh, a sequel to Blade Runner. I think it's actually yep. happening, right? Yep. And like the Pacific Rim too. <laughs> oh, and that's depressing. Yeah, they got Bo- shot now. Bo- Bo- I, I don't know how to Bo- pronounce cop- it. Conf Camp, test. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I can't remember how it was pronounced. Yeah, I can't remember either. But it was basically a way to tell humans from synthoids. Yeah, uh, replicants. 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 Sorry, yeah. what am I thinking of? Synthoids. Uh, vision. Oh, vision. It's a Marvel thing. Yeah, yeah okay. Human torch. Replicants. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Smith to uh, direct the episode of The Flash. It's kind of, this is a, a ironic bit of news. Because I think somebody that was on Arrow said something bad about him one time. And he's like, <laughs> fuck these shows. I'm not watching them. Oh, no. And then finally everybody going, you have to watch this. It's amazing. They're like, Gorilla City. It's crazy. You got to think they did, they did Gorilla Grodd. And he's like, nope, nope, nope. And he finally did it. And he's like, oh, I love it. And sucking this dick. He actually posted <laughs> where he did like a reaction video. It was yeah. the season finale of The Flash. And he's just, yeah, run, he's Barry, just run. balling. He's just crying. He balls like a and everything. Bitch. I listened to a podcast where he watched Bad News Bears and cried through the whole thing. I'm like, it's Bad News Bears. <laughs> Walter know? Matthau gets drunk and yells at Tatum O'Neill. That's what, what the fuck. It was the latest one. You know, the, the new Bad News Bears, which it was so uh, bad. Billy you Bob cried. Thornton. Yeah, that you cried through. No, that I cried through it because it was so bad. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wasn't that? Didn't the guy um, who directed uh, Dazed and Confused direct that? Wait, what? The ba- the new oh, bad yes. news. Yeah, it wasn't Why called Bad News that? Bears. What was to, it called? For some money. No, I think it was called was Bad it, News yeah. Bears. Yeah. Okay. I think it, yeah, that was uh I can never remember it's a uh, Richard Linkletter. That's it. There you go. I always want to say Yeah, Mark Richard Linkletter. Linkletter. Latter. Link. Link. Yeah. Great filmmaker, made a couple of stinkers, including that one. Yeah, I don't know. All of them. Yeah, and I'm surprised he didn't set it in Texas considering all his films are set in Texas. Right, and it would work it would fit in texas oh no perfectly. yeah it yeah. would totally slacker oh yeah uh yeah. dazed and confused waking life scan the darkly. newton boys i didn't know he directed the newton oh, wow. boys i didn't no. know that school either. of rock that actually wasn't that bad yeah yeah now now a scanner sense, darkly that makes sense that's sense. along the lines of uh blade runner that was also a philip k dick mm-hmm. now i don't watch many of smith's directed movies like what was it cop out he did i've seen uh, cop out okay did he get muse in it in Cop Out? Yeah, no. like in the background. Okay, because I want to see if Muse would be 
Jason Mewes would be in The oh. Flash. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm he Crackhead was, Pete! He was um, in... Um, he could be Cockknocker. Wait, or wait, what was his... Mark was, Hamill was Mark, yeah. That's right. Uh, I got punched in the motherfucking <laughs> dick by a guy named Cockknocker. <laughs> that is one of the best lines ever. And I still haven't bought that action figure. I've seen it. I need to buy it. <laughs> it's not part of the Marvel canon yet, so they could bring Jason Mewes <laughs> in as... Cock knocker. There you go. <laughs> Since they, Mark Hamill already has a, a part or a role in that yeah. universe. Yeah. Uh, Wait, did I say Marvel universe? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's DC. Star Wars. DC. 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 Wait, what? Because he's. A... We're talking about Flash. Oh, because he be right? trickster. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get he, you. He be I, trickster. He be trickster. He be trickster. He be trickster. Um, that's that. That should go on a T-shirt. He be trickster. Oh. Market that. Copyright. That's mine. Yeah, I get the royalties for that one. Oh, now here's interesting from the Russo. Well, I keep wanting to say Russo brothers, but I guess that's just not the Russo brother and transgender. No, oh, you're thinking of the Wachowskis. Oh, my thing. The Wachowskis. Russo brothers actually are oh, still, still brothers. brothers. Okay, good. The Wachowski siblings. According to mean. the Captain America Winter Soldier co directors Joe and Anthony Russo, they currently have 67 characters on tap for. For the two-part Avengers Infinity Shit. War. Shit. <laughs> How? 67? 67. You know what makes a movie really great? Is having a ton of characters, characters that yeah. don't have any screen time or backstory. You know what would be the best part? Is this if there's a confusing, hard-to-follow script, too. That would be amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I have faith in these guys because they, well, did, they did The Winter Soldier, yeah. and yeah. it was amazing. Yeah, and, right. and Civil War, looks again, good. looks amazing. Rumor, and I I won't spoil it for those who don't know. Uh, well, then turn it off. Well, no, no, I won't. Let, let's forward. just do it this way. The rumor is you can spoil it for me. I don't care that Civil War will end like the comic book Civil War did. Oh, I know what he means. So, Nuclear Holocaust. No, uh, 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 Robert E. Lee is going to surrender to Ulysses Grant. <laughs> Yeah, Appomattox there you go. Courthouse. So we'll that's exactly how it ended in the comics. Huh. Now, have you guys finally got to watch the end of Ash versus Evil Dead? I did. No. God. Did you give it to me yet? Yes. yes. Oh. Last week. Oops. You, I copied it's it and then I gave it to you and you copied it. I didn't know it. that was last one. I thought you okay. said it wasn't. Let's just disappointed. Disappointed. Dis it, I'm wondering Dude, Kevin if Kevin Sorbo disappointed. Disappointed! I'm go. wondering if they didn't change the ending as soon as they found out they, they were renewed for two. season two. Because mm. it does lead into another season. They didn't wrap it up. Let's just put it I, that I way. love that his cohorts were disappointed, too. <laughs> <and nobody's, laughs> that was <fucking> hilarious. <laughs> let's just say that, that Ash isn't known for making... And let's be honest, it does make sense with Ash. He's not known for making yeah, no. the best decisions. But it's all like, let's... You got. You can't like. I'm nothing. You're nothing without us. Ash. Blah 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 blah. No, I have to defeat evil. At the end, he's like, Yeah, fuck all that shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, um, kind of ruined that. Yeah, point. I, I don't know. I, it's still vague enough. Uh, yeah. Well, it's pretty funny. I mean, it's just like. Yeah. It's... I love that he's hearing bad stuff on the radio. He just turns it off. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. And, nothing. Nothing going on. You just have to. But I mean, it, as a ser as a series altogether, it was good. Yeah, that last episode was really disappointing. It was though. just yeah, but like I said, you, I I guarantee you they had a way to wrap. I would not be surprised if they didn't put it out on DVD and had like an alternate ending. Yeah, to where like the whole episode. I mean, there was, was some crazy different. shit happening in that last. Oh episode. yeah. There were some good. I was like, holy crap, holy crap! Wow, yeah. are they going to get out of this one? And then it's like, that's how. I'm like, okay. That's how. But, All right, you know whatever. Um, still no arrow back, no flashback yet. Uh, Supergirl flashbacks is is they're they're taking all Superman's tropes, man. Yeah, all the shit that well because it's like okay, Superman's only in the movies, so they're not going to cover a lot of stuff. Yeah, although but it's little stuff like uh, they did the uh, what Superman's done for years. It's where the the uh, the her boss finally figures out that she's Supergirl, right? And as Supergirl comes to talk to her boss, she walks in the room. It's like, I told you I wasn't Supergirl. Right there's Supergirl. And Supergirl's going, uh, hey, how you doing? It's Martian Manhunter. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. John Jones does this for Superman all the time. Wow. 
you know, well, I think Clark Kent's Superman. Well, it can't be. Superman's right there. Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, you'd need to do that every once in a while. No, you got a nice ship, shape shifting uh, buddy. But I thought that yeah, Supergirl, somebody... like, fessed up to it the last episode. I no, saw. she took off her glasses, but she didn't say. Oh, she, no, yeah. Some, some superheroes have to have a clone of themselves show. And up now they're it. going to do a, uh, apparently they're doing a take on, uh, for the man who has everything, on Supergirl. I don't know that. Uh, do you know who Mongol is? Okay, he's Mongols yellow. this big international overlord. He has red eyes and he's yellow, wears a purple that's suit. That, right? Yeah, there you go. That's that dude from Blazing Saddles. But he, and he has a head kind of shaped like Martian Manhunter. Kind of. He's got big yellow eyebrows. eyebrows. Mongo straight. But uh, the I'm best, talking about a different guy, aren't I? Oh, oh the, yeah. The best, re- and, or the best adaption for this book was on the Justice League cartoon show, where technically it's Superman's birthday. He opens a box. This plant thing attaches itself to him. Puts him in like a dream state that gives him everything he wants in Ooh, life. Ooh, the Matrix plant. But he actually realizes it's wrong. Hmm. You know, so he's got to fight his way. And more or less, it's like, it's it'd be like ripping your own arm off hmm. to fight, you know, because you know you want it all, but it's wrong. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're adapting that for Supergirl. So we actually just uh, deleted Supergirl from our DVR. <laughs> Candy, like, made the call. Okay. I actually was kind of like it warming up to I it. have not watched it at all. But I'll tell you one <clears> thing. I'm starting to want to see a TV Justice League. We got Martian Manhunter. We got <laughs> Hawkman. We got Flash. We got Arrow. Really? We got Supergirl. It would be great. I would like to see that, really. Black Canary. Yeah. I mean. I kind of want to see that now. <laughs> it CW. No, and they're still talking. News today is like, well, they're still talking about doing a Flash Supergirl crossover. Mm-hmm. I thought it was shot down some time ago, but mm-hmm. yeah, who, knows? who knows? But, but that yeah, it, it complicated. Well, maybe things. Supergirl flew in and captured it and kept it from crashing. And uh, <laughs> laid it there you go, softly on the top. I mean, oh, maybe it's got to do with the whole point is the Flash. This is talking about parallel universes. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so maybe he's as he's running, they can do like a he well made a pit stop in this dimension based on like. What DC tends to be doing these days, it'll probably be a different Supergirl with a different, uh, <laughs> like, backstory, different actress, unrelated to the existing show. Well, I would like to know where the the line is drawn. I really would. Because if they can do a, a Flash movie and then have a Flash TV show... I, yeah, it's not and, really fair. You know. But this is just my bias because I, the TV does such a better job yeah. than the movies do. Well, they have more time to flesh out the characters. It's, yeah, now. So, but, uh, oh, uh, uh, Venture Brothers. Yeah, oh, Next yeah. Next season, this month. Yeah, I can't wait. So that is going to be. I can't wait to watch these three episodes, then wait another oh, four years to see three I think, more. I think it was eight episodes, I think. So, yeah, they really, I don't know what these guys do in between. But they really do drag their ass about it. <laughs> I, I like to think they sit there for three years just throwing a handball at a wall and letting yeah. it bounce and catch it and go, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Uh, what, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Want to make a, like a short run Mike Tyson based thing? <laughs> you think that was kind of good. Let's, let's, all right, let's throw that together. I don't know. I could I, have my guy call him. I did enjoy Mike Tyson Mysteries. But, yeah, it's sort of like, um, you know when Kevin Smith would always make, like, Tusk? Yeah. And stuff like that. And you're like, just for the love of fucking Christ, <laughs> make Clerks 3 already! Oh, shit. It's sort of like that. I was like, yeah, Mike Tyson's Mysteries was fun, but yeah, where, where no... the heck? Just make what... You can do this on the what, side. What if they do a Venture Brothers Mike Tyson Mystery crossover? Oh, that'd be fine. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> they should have set it up. <clears throat> in the Mike Tyson mysteries, I, I and you see Mike Tyson and Brock Samson. Oh, that would be the yeah. greatest yeah. thing just, in the world. And, I and no one wins; those. they're just like throwing each other through walls. I want to see a knockdown, drag out fight with the whole episode where everybody else is having to solve the problem. <laughs> Wait, but then Brock Samson would have to snap his neck at the end, right? No, no. no. Mm. Something would come between them. You know, I want. <laughs> I want to see Brock Samson bite Mike Tyson's ear off <laughs> yeah. and go, "Ow, that really hurt." <laughs> my head. Well, Man, why would you do that to somebody? <laughs> what kind of human being does that? <laughs> that is how that should end, right oh, there. Oh God, what was the commercial? 
where where it's uh, Vander Holyfield and he's answering the hears the, the doorbell go off. He answers the door and it's Mike Tyson. And he's giving he's got his ear in a jar. And really? He's it, oh, it's like yeah, friendships or something. It's time to make up with everybody. Oh yeah, I've never seen that one. Yeah, is that it, new? Or? No, it, it was a couple years ago. Huh. You know, it's talking about, you know, time to renew friendships or rebuild friendships. PSA. He's got it in the, the liquid. You know, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So. Interesting. Well, uh, speaking of TV shows, I guess I'll throw this out. Uh, I What's guess the got? Golden Globes was last night or two nights ago. I heard it bombed pretty big and they had to, like, censor half of it. Really? Well, they had Ricky Gervais hosting. Yeah. Well, that I'm sounds expect. pretty good. Yeah, I wish I would have watched it. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't watch no, it I don't. I don't care about any of that crap. But, Me but either. But one thing I thought was interesting, um, I didn't know who was running, or who was not running. Who was running. Who was, like, nominated or anything, but... but uh, I want to announce my candidacy <laughs> for Best Actor at the Golden Globes. I'll vote for you. Damn right you will. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Lady Gaga won for Best... Uh, wait, it's like a long, uh, let me see here. I, I thought, I thought it was comically, uh, over, uh, worded rot. Yeah. Like yeah. it's, I don't know. Actually this stupid, the formatting on this thing is all jacked up. Uh, it's like best, uh, actress in a, I don't know. It's a it, it's a description that has ten words in it for telling, saying that she's the best actress. <laughs> I thought you were like, fuck it. And, uh, oh, for American but for Horror American Story. Horror Story, which I don't know what their criteria is, how they vote on this stuff to determine this. I think she did. I really have enjoyed her performance. I've enjoyed the show. I think I was surprised, and I think maybe that's why she won was because I don't know that her performance was that great, but it was it was. It it was perfect for the part, so maybe maybe that's what it was. But and uh, I think people are just surprised that we, she was actually really good in it uh, because we've never seen her act in anything before, except for Sin City or one of those. She had well, like it had to be a dame to kill for. for yeah, she yeah, had she like a that. she had like one line. She was like a bartender or something. <laughs> but uh, I didn't see that one. I only saw the first. It one. wasn't. I yeah. I don't know if it. But uh, yeah, like I thought that was kind of cool because I. I don't know. The show is so. I don't know. I'm glad. I just like to see the show getting some, uh, you know, respect. I guess because it's fun. I really enjoy it. <laughs> I hate it when I blank. Uh, not Ben Affleck, but the guy he's always with, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> they introduced Matt Damon is the only only guy that Ben Affleck hasn't cheated on, or the only person Matt Damon or uh, Ben Affleck hasn't cheated on. Is Matt, <laughs> Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. <laughs> it's like, yeah. What? Uh oh, oh another thing. Um I guess I'll throw in here okay. since we're like struggling. Are we struggling nah, right nah, now? Guys? We're not struggling. Okay. Well, I'll just no, do I'm, this anyway. Yeah, we're just I'm just well, I mean Listen, I'm still trying to come to terms uh, <laughs> with David. Just, yeah, yeah we're still distraught about Bowie, man. Uh, I mean, that's a thing. Well, this is something I was I was going to talk about last week mm-hmm. and I told oh, Matt yeah. he said I should talk about it this week. What's and that? I was supposed to remind um, you and I forgot to remind you. Ah, yeah. Well, I wrote it down. Okay, so, uh, so okay, like two or three weeks ago, I finally got around to start it, to listening to Serial, which is this podcast that last year everybody was raving about. I kept hearing people talk about it on other podcasts, and and uh, and at the festival in September, it like it was even part of like the introductory uh, oh, introductory gosh. video before each act came on. I think they mentioned it as like a uh, you know because it was like. Revolutionary, revolutionizing podcasting, or the, it was bringing podcasting to the masses. Basically, the, the, this is this is okay. a documentary about uh, Kellogg, right? No, <laughs> actually, oh, it's oh. a documentary. It is a documentary series, nonfiction series. It's about yeah. this uh, news reporter, uh, and she's actually a, a like an NPR like uh, producer. Okay. Uh, she, or at least she has been in the past. I believe she produced or produces This American Life. She's like got close ties to them anyway, and. Uh, and but anyway, she's not a crime reporter or anything, but she got a letter from somebody that asked them asked her to look at this case of this uh, teenager who was convicted of murdering his girlfriend. She started looking at it, uh, started seeing there were some like really strange things, you know, that had occurred and basically, you know, spent a year researching this case, talking to everybody involved, you know, going through paperwork and uh, produced a show around all these inconsistencies and. And uh, it's it was really fascinating, really really good show. I really I recommend it to anybody who hasn't listened to it. 
Is this the um, one where it's the the TV series Making of a Murderer? Well, is that, is that that's, what this is called? Well, so that was the connection. So I started uh-huh. listening to Serial, really enjoyed it. Uh-huh. Um, we were like, I don't know, like four episodes in, and uh, we were like, you know, having dinner, looking at Netflix, and I was like, oh, here's a show. This is like Serial on Netflix, but it's a different case. It's called Making a Murderer. Oh, it's a, a different case. Okay. Yeah, it's a completely I, different I, case. See, I was unclear if that was the same case or a different case. Yeah, no, no. It's a different case, but kind of similar in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. It's another case of this This time it's this guy in 1985. Uh, he was convicted of raping this woman, sent to prison, uh-huh. uh, and 17 or 18 years later, he was let out because he got the a DNA DNA test was done on like uh, material under from her, under her fingernails, and he was let go because you know it wasn't his. And uh, mm-hmm. but like a year later, he gets arrested again for murder, and uh, and you know again there's like all these kind of weird inconsistencies in the case, and mm-hmm. he's got a, big, a better le- leg to stand on because you know he had just been released for being falsely accused you know but um so it looks like they're trying just to get him again and, and it actually yeah it focuses more on like the police um apparently framing him you know it's 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 an it's possibly even more fascinating than serial i thought hmm. uh but it's come out now like it has become a thing it's been trending like the last like week or two i've been seeing it a lot and uh and now that people are coming out and saying, you know, look at all this stuff that they left out of the documentary yeah. and or the series and and uh, it's a, but it's a really fascinating that point case. where I'd he was like, yeah, I killed all those people. Right. Well, it's yeah, like DNA part. here, DNA that, you know, and it just doesn't. Yeah. But that was the thing on the, in the second. The Did I mention case, I raped them all, too? I mean, yeah. This is going to make a good documentary. Let's get this out. The second yeah. case, it was just one woman. And uh, and basically, yeah. well, I mean, I won't I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's it's really compelling like we started watching it at like nine o'clock and you know thinking okay we'll watch a couple episodes maybe watch a movie or something and uh at four o'clock in the morning we were like okay we can we need to finish this in the morning because it was like (laughs) we just could not stop watching it and then uh you know yeah and the next morning we just that was the first thing we did just finished it and uh finish it uh, yeah check it out Mm. Oh yeah, I mean it was. Um, trying to think, uh, Voltron. Uh, Voltron's coming yep, back. Voltron's coming back. Uh, Netflix, right? Yeah, Netflix series. I don't know. I'm guessing animated. Probably. Uh, this uh, big part of my childhood here with Voltron. You guys remember Voltron? Yeah, yes, vaguely. I, I don't really Voltron. remember watching the cartoons, but I remember they were like the coolest toys, and I never had them. But Shit, I, I remember the cartoon. Activate yeah. interlock. Diamatherms mm, connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. But it was kind of formulatic after a while, wasn't it? What? Let's form Voltron. Well, that's sword. The you wait Slice the, whole the fucker in half. Yeah. <laughs> episode for them to form Voltron. Right. Well, that's the thing. Why don't they just form Voltron at the beginning and kill whatever the problem is? And then... See, I always thought there should be a time limit that you can only be Voltron for so long. Right. Or no, get, maybe they have to like build up Hulk rage and then they can become Voltron. Yeah, it's one of those, I can't remember what it Four was, where they go, well, maybe we should try and defeat him on our own. No, no, how about we just skip to Voltron? Yeah. <laughs> Why were we dicking right. around? It's like, well, like Pacific Rim, too. That was the thing, you know, uh, you know, they go through, everybody gets killed, like, easily by these monsters, and then they, like, pull out this sword that mm-hmm. can, like, slice through monsters and just destroy them. Yeah. And it's like, hey, you should that probably try and use that more. Resort. Yeah, I guess so. Well, maybe this should have been first resort. You know, the best the best episode of Voltron is that first, like, five-parter that they had. There's a reason they couldn't form Voltron. Uh, because they couldn't find all the keys. Oh, oh there you go. So the yeah. black, they know the black lion wouldn't work, and the black lion is what you need to make Voltron. He's well, the main you body. Technically, needed all of them to make. Well, that's Voltron. true. Right. But, but that was he, the missing you know, piece. the main, the the big guy, the black lion, it you was, know. it wouldn't work at all. Yeah. And I mean, seriously, like once they found that that key, they're like, "Motherfucking, let's go!" They yeah. go down there and they get in there, and this big gigantic so robot it, comes out and starts trying to kick their ass. It and just should have like, been a mini series. It sounds like. So what it was Voltron the torso, or I mean the black black, black lion made the, the body torso, and the yeah. head, yeah, yeah okay. and then it, green lion and red lion were the arms, and yellow yeah. lion and blue lion were the legs. And the sad thing was for back in the day, I, I'm I think they've fixed this now. But anytime a kid got on the cartoon, all the lions looked the same. 
They yeah. were sleek. They were, you know, agile. You got the toy. The four limbs were sleek, and then you had this fat ass. Yeah, yeah. huge. <laughs> Just wide. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is the arms would have like big bodies, and they'd have these little dinky legs. Yeah. The only ones that worked in any way, shape, or form were the legs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I I I want to see what they and now they uh... that'll be the fourth Voltron cartoon reboot. Something really? like that. There was one recently on Cartoon yeah. Network that just didn't really go. There's the original one, which was actually produced by uh, World Events Entertainment, which is out of St. Louis. Huh. That was a St. Louis company that made that. Then there was a reboot in the 90s. Now, wasn't technically the vehicle ones a reboot? No, that was part of the same thing. Okay. Because they didn't have enough episodes to make the syndication run. So what they were gonna do is they took this one, you know, because Japanese loved them combining robots. Oh yeah. Yeah. How many vehicles were there? There's like, there's like, like fifteen fucking vehicles. Yeah. I mean, it's like his kneecaps were a separate vehicle from the rest of them. So yeah, one of them gets damaged. You're fine. <laughs> but so so they, that's called Vehicle Voltron, and yeah, they did a season Voltron. with that, and like people were like, "Boo! This fucking sucks. Where's, Where's the lions?" Yeah. So they went back. Undid the end of the series for, for Voltron for the Lions because they killed King Zarkon and all this <laughs> other bullshit. I mean, he's dead and uh, came back and made new episodes for, for for Voltron. And so the Lions came back. Well, it should have been just like Voltron the Untold Stories or something. Right. But so. so. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that, you know, I was I talked last week about that DC history book I got. Yeah. Right. And uh, and I'm like up. I'm still like only up to like 1950, but uh, Superman. They're they're talking about like in as in 1948, they were already going back and changing Superman's origin story. You know, like oh yeah, little by little. You know, uh, yeah, uh, retelling it and well, changing because... details. Like Mar, they didn't even call Mar. It wasn't Martha and Jonathan Kent until like the 50s. Yeah, they like fleshed they, them out. You know, is yeah. what they did. So it was kind of like he he. He was born on a planet. The planet exploded. He was brought yeah. to Earth. An elderly couple took him in. Now he's Superman. Right. <laughs> yeah. But let's skip to the good. The shit. thing it made me think was like I kind of like it though the way that because the way they would do it is they're just like eh, this is what's this is the truth now. Like they didn't have they didn't it didn't seem like they felt the weight of all that baggage from all those years because like there wasn't now. that many at the time. Right. But they they did have kind of but yeah they sort of elaborated but certain details would change like the names of characters and things. Yeah. But it's like they, I, it, well, I mean, I, of course, I'm not reading the issues, but it just feels like they were just kind of like, eh, nobody really cares. I guess at that time, people weren't really collecting them either. They're just yeah. like, I wonder where this guy came from. I've only and they been just more or less assumed here. every four or five years that they had a whole new readership. Yeah. So I guess it was, yeah, it was a co completely different climate. Of, okay. Uh, comic, okay. Real quick. See if Matt knows. Mm -hmm. Originally, how did you spell Superman's Kryptonian name? Kal El? Yeah. K A L slash dash dash hyphen E L. Originally it was just L. K A L dash L. Mm. Cal L. How and does then, uh, uh, Nick Cage spell it? Fuck, who knows? <laughs> it's just a joke. Cal. It's a joke, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, isn't okay. his child's name Cal, Cal, Cal L? Well, that's right, yeah. yeah. And I actually do call, I've got a, a nephew called uh, Callan. I call him Cal. Yeah. <laughs> With a K. With a K. Yeah. But uh, I, I, since we got on DC real quick, and there's always we talked about this last uh, last time about Ant Man. You know, mm -hmm. if he if he's the 200 pound man, dents down to it. You know, right. how's he jumping on somebody's gun and yes. running up the barrel of the gun kind right. of thing? Yeah. So I'm reading the Flash, and I haven't new 52 Flash. I've come and gone on it, and they finally had to reintroduce. They've already got a reverse Flash, but it wasn't Professor Zoom. So now they've had to bring in Professor Zoom just to be Zoom. And so, Barry, it, it's technically this is what's big on the TV show, so this is what we've got to do, you know. Yeah. And it's like he keeps beating up Barry, and Barry finally figures out what's going on. And Zoom's not going faster. He's slowing down time around him. Oh. And Barry taps into time, too, but he just speeds things up, which is fine. You know, it's okay. That's comic book logic. That's fine if you're going to stay within, I don't know, 30 feet. 
this whole running around the world shit, that means, yeah, to us it's a blink of an eye. To him it's been five years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here's what I don't understand. Is I if, take a nap. <laughs> if Zoom time, slows down time and Barry speeds it up, when they run into each other, they just have I, a slap fight? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> they it's, should cancel each other out. Right, yeah. Neither one of them would be, or the, yeah, it would just even. They would become I know, even, I think, but right? I don't ask. It's one of those they don't go into yeah. detail. They just say, oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. No, no, I don't. Because <laughs> that means that, because cause that's it's one of those things you've got to think about. It's like okay, when the flash is moving fast, is everything moving fast around him? Is his mind just like speeding up to be able to, or is everything like frozen to him? And he still. It took me twenty minutes to run here. It seems like it nothing, but. <laughs> well, that's true. If if he's speeding up time, then he should be like, hey, old man. Yeah, he should be an old guy. <laughs> yeah. And like he, Professor Zoom should be like, I just hit puberty. Yeah, yeah. it's it's ridiculous. And also, if uh, Zoom is slowing down time, yeah, what is he slowing down time in the whole universe? That's or is it just the area surrounding? If it's the him, area surrounding him, then, then everything every, would be behind. Yeah, yeah, everything in that he'd be creating I, bubbles of like people I don't, from the past, like all around. I, yeah, I, which I would don't. Be pretty fascinating. Like I said, they don't. They didn't think too much into yeah. this. Yeah, actually, you know, and Candy and I were talking about that. We watched Ant Man. Okay. Which you know, oh, I got Ant Man and, from my birthday. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Blu ray. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Blu ray. Blu ray. Cool. Right. Pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so we were talking about the inconsistencies. You know, well, like. You know, and the, like the train that like flew out the wind, you know, it should have been lighter and, than air. Right, yeah, it should have been like a foam train. <laughs> you know, which I think if they would have gone that route, that was would have been a much more interesting movie. Like actually demonstrating, you know, this what happens when a two hundred pound man gets shrunk to the size of an ant, and how he, yeah, you can't like walk on most surfaces. You like. I don't know. I think it presents a lot of interesting problems. That, <laughs> it's comic book logic funny. because yeah. think about it, if Giant Man's going to be in Civil War, he's a three-story, two hundred pound guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing a, exactly. oh shit! Wind. Yes, exactly. He would just <laughs> he would just float around. Away. <laughs> yeah, he would. He oh, would shit. be like permeable. Like water would like probably flow through his body. Like it's. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting. I wish somebody would do that story, like now, that character. Sorry, like, I don't mean to interrupt, but I oh, just saw a headline, God finalizes supergroup lineup. <laughs> yes, I saw, <laughs> saw that. that. I didn't recognize the drummer. I don't the, either. Uh, no, see, what might be the... cool is um, in Ant-Man, they kept making fun Ant-Man. of the name. Ant-Man, yeah, you yeah. know. So I'm hoping that he, he gets these growth powers. Mm-hmm. And they go, okay, what do you call yourself now? And he's like, Giant, Giant man. man. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's not so easy coming up with a name, is it, asshole? Yeah. Talk to Cisco. He'll help you out. Yep. I hate most of Cisco's names, though. But no, the, it'd be, the funny thing is he'd be Giant Man. He's like, Giant Man is. No, Goliath. Goliath. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what, what if I took this stuff? Well, then you'd be Black Goliath. <laughs> the hawk, or uh, I was thinking uh, Falcon. Falcon. <laughs> you'd be yeah, Black, Black Goliath. 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 Hey! I'm not Black Falcon. <laughs> that I is am Black odd. Panther, though. Yeah, it is like, other yeah, than well, Black Panther, yeah. Black Goliath. You know, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't Black Falcon. <laughs> it's, he was a pimp, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, he was a gang member. I don't know if he was really a pimp. Oh well, whatever. But <laughs> he's old Snap Wilson. Yeah, I think they've retconned that out. <laughs> or you know. Captain America, that'd be bad to bring up the new Captain America was once a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> career cho- career choices for black men in the 70s. Yeah. Gang member, pimp. <laughs> Drug dealer. <laughs> right, and yeah. Um, I yeah, it's, know. it's I think it's good to have a strong character arc. That, that, I, that, I'm, uh, the, the latest trip to the, the toy all, I really think that uh, movie companies are going to put a uh, kind of a cease and desist on Lego for a while. Hmm. Because you go to Lego, you go down the Lego aisle. Let's see, you can tell that uh, that Batman steals a kryptonite from LexCorp. That oh, yeah. at some point, uh, Luther's gonna be flying a helicopter that everybody's got to try to stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you, can, oh, apparently, because um, we always wondered, because he's got, because uh, he's always got that stupid ass long hair in the oh, late yeah. Luthor. Oh, yeah. yeah. In the picture... You're going to go bald. In the picture, it's got, you know, it's the action scene, and Luthor's in the helicopter with the funky hair. Mm-hmm. On the, here's all the figures this comes with, he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's like, he goes bald at some point in time. Yeah, I think it's a wig. 
Yeah, I think so too. Well, he's got to go bald and be able to blame, blame Superman for it. Yeah, right. You know, that's that's one of those things they always you know cop out on. If that's so, really the reason he hates him, I'm yeah. Not. You well, know, it's uh, uh it, okay. Uh, during the time of Superboy, Lex Luthor comes to town to try to create a kryptonite antidote for Superboy. One day, Superboy's flying around. He's going to go to his buddy Lex's uh, <laughs> uh, lab out in the middle of nowhere. It's on fire. No plumes of smokes coming out and whatnot. So he blows. He so blows stupid. it in. So stupid. He blows all the you know to blow it out. Yeah. Luthor is still in there mm. because of the chemicals. He loses his hair. <laughs> so yeah. Stupid. And I'm thinking that they also try to say it jacked up his mind. But that was yeah. the whole reason he hated Superman because he went bald. Right. Yes. Well, if you uh, some of our early listeners, actually, I don't know, back in like probably the teens, one of our early Uh-oh. images was Lex Luthor, yeah. in the lab, like oh with yeah, his hair, I remember that because yep. we had talked about that during the episode. Holy crap! That may There's not a, even be out. There. A Facebook uh, group I'm a par- uh, part of called the Film Anti Preservation Society. They just posted a write up for your height only. <laughs> <laughs> going going back to our uh, picture show and tell days. Uh, still, a year still, ago. still one of the funniest movies oh, I've God. ever seen. For for your yeah. height only. It's not out. We, that oh episode my gosh. doesn't exist anymore. Or I mean, it's I still have it, but it, you can't yeah. get it anymore. I was gonna say the DVDs are out there somewhere. <laughs> <I've It's... made> <laughs> oh, hey baby. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh my gosh, I want to watch it again now. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of you guys got it. Um, you have it, or I've got it on VHS. Well, I, I think. D- didn't we? I thought we had it on it DVD, have audio. but I can't we remember. We may have just watched it on YouTube. No, well, I, I think thought we burned down, it to DVD. Yeah, I thought we burned it. And I think down. I got a copy of it, but I don't know where it's at. Well. But I bet I do. I'll have to look for it. I'm trying to think. Oh, Walking Dead's coming back oh, yeah. soon, like a couple weeks. Oh, wait. I was going to oh. say, speaking of the Batman versus Superman. Oh, speaking of Batman um, versus Superman. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'm still like, eh, boo, yeah. Yeah. Wah, wah. But, uh,. That new, there's a new trailer I just saw for the first time this weekend. I think it's you know mostly consists of old material, but yeah. it it started with the Batmobile like flying around a corner and Superman's just standing there and like he hits him like smacking a tree and yeah, bounces and off. Spins, yeah, you know, oh like, yeah, I saw that trailer too. And mm. I was like, okay, I like that. Like uh, <laughs> just something about that. Well, because that's what. Well, I, I love that he didn't even try to move. Like he didn't yes. fly up yes. or <laughs> because like a whoa, he Superman's just stood there. <laughs> right. Well, actually, to me, that's symbolic. That's what's been missing from a lot of the Batman stuff lately. Is he? That's his problem is that he the brute force like this is a, a, a an immovable object that brute force will not work against and that's you know it's sort of uh, batman's gotten out of touch you know he's like oh he just overpowers his foes like in this universe that's kind of i think that's sort of the idea of the the dark knight returns right he's yeah. got this drone army and like and he hasn't had to he yeah i mean he and superman are both out of touch Oh, and yeah. and but they're coming from different sides, and I I just thought that was a cool moment, and but I don't think the rest of the movie is going to live up to that moment. <laughs> I I just was thinking the whole time I saw it, I was like, asshole, what if he'd made a kryptonite bumper? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and oh shit, my shins. <laughs> okay, here, here you talked about a kryptonite bunk, a bumper, something that's almost as bad. Um, they've they've put out action figures for the movie. But also, it's called Multiverse, because they're doing for different comics oh, right. and TV and all that. And uh, they have a uh, Build-A-Figure for the normal line. Mm-hmm. And you look on the back, it's just a Batman robot. You're like, what the hell is this? It's called the Justice Buster. It is actually from the comic books. It is a suit of armor that Batman has built to take out the Justice League. Okay. Oh, okay. right, right. In the comic... You know, pretty much he takes them all out except for Superman. Superman just rips through it, and pretty much what has happened is the Joker's infected the Justice League, so they're all going mad. And and Superman's got Batman, you know, over the ocean or whatever off the coast. Batman spits in his eye. It, it's a, a coagulant, you know, sticky stuff that he puts kryptonite dust in it and blah, blah. Alfred calls it kryptonite gum. <laughs> it sticks to Superman, and they go, ugh. Gross. So he beat him with kryptonite gum. <laughs> well, and uh, heaven, or maybe it's just Better in one of the realities. Gum, oh, wait, that was another reason that Lex Luthor hated Superman, right? In one of the versions, 
Wasn't it the kryptonite that made him lose his hair because he had a really no. made of kryptonite? Uh, what happens is uh, it was during the reboot in 85, 85, 86, and it was one of those, it's like, here's this rock from space. It's radioactive, hurts nobody but Superman. Yeah. So what they did is they, uh, in the reboot, they said, well, it's very low-level radiation. It should be fine. So ingeniously, Luther makes a ring out of it. So Superman can't, can't, can't come anywhere right. near to it. And, and that's great because in the in the 70s, it was like, okay, I've got kryptonite. I'll make a kryptonite bazooka. And if yeah. I miss him, I'm fucked, you yeah. know? So Yeah, no, why don't you just make crack kryptonite brass knuckles? Yeah, no shit. Like, All right, just bitch. hide kryptonite on you wherever you're at. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But it because turns Superman out Superman didn't learn to fight. He just like he always yeah. So I bet Lex Luthor could just come in and whop, whop, whop. Oh no, and kidding! Kick the shit out of him. And uh, what happens is he wears it constantly, twenty four seven, because you never know when Superman's going to show up. He ends up getting cancer in his hand. Yeah, and has okay. to have his hand amputated. All right. Well, that's yeah. Okay, so. Batman's kryptonite gum. I guess he's not going around chewing it all the time. Yeah, right? but yeah, I'm just that. That was my point. Was he's like yeah. introducing radiation into his well, mouth? Well, if you think about it, because it's, it's usually lead. So as yeah. soon as Superman grabs him out of the suit and he's chewing on this gum, unless yeah. he's got like lead fillings or yeah. some shit, yeah. Superman should be dying. Right. Well, that, that well he chewed the lead gum before he put the yeah, kryptonite gum in his mouth, and that helped uh, offset the effects. But yeah, that's just some of the what is it? Oh, he got a miniature red suns from uh, the atom to put in his gauntlets hmm. in the in the Justice Buster. So when he beats on Superman, it's taken oh, all his powers. Yeah. You know, it's like wow. what miniature <laughs> yeah. red suns? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I'm sure that's the easiest solution, to Batman. <laughs> Seriously, just get kryptonite. It's real simple. I don't know. I don't read too much in the new Fifty Two. I don't know how. Uh, abundant kryptonite is in the new. Be- I think it's more abundant than miniature red miniature suns. suns. You would think yeah. so. You would think so. Who could even make them? A- I'm sure somebody had to make them for him. Or no, something, it's more or less like the atom went to the microverse or okay. something. You know, Here's you can adjust your size. Is how hot do the gloves get? Because <laughs> they have suns inside. Well, them. let's see. They they have pointed out that uh, he's got a reflective, like a like an ion shield or something like that to re- to. Uh, to uh, cancel out the heat vision, to reflect heat vision, and then it's got a temperature control so Superman can't freeze breath him. Wow. You know, he's, he's, he's Batman. He's got it all covered. I think his big thing for the Flash mm-hmm. was uh, the, the, the tar- rope tied to a pole that he well, can no, pull? Well, no, no, it's even better. It's even better. <laughs> it's technically a targeting system that can uh, tell you where the Flash has come from, where he's going to end up, and can react fast and put down an oil slick. More or less, the flash just just slides into a building. So the speed and knock force it. doesn't protect him from oil slicks. It's supposed to have a friction. See, that's the Alfred, thing. Alfred, I'm gonna fight the flash. Give me a bunch of bananas. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, um. Master, <laughs> Master Wayne, you could just peel them. I don't want to let them go away. Well, if you remember in the old Flash TV show, the one one way the the trickster. Got away from the flash. He he threw he threw down a bunch of marbles. <laughs> He's just going. He falls on his ass. He gets up and runs. Falls on his ass. You like beat the flash with Looney Tunes tactics. Oh, uh, right. I think he. Oh, he kidnapped the flash once. He put down glue. Ouch. Nah. And he. You know, everyone shows up to find the flash, and all that's left is his boots <laughs> because the trickster kidnapped him it's and like brainwashed a, him. Yeah. Cat or one of those uh, mouse traps. So, but um, I just expect somebody like the trickster to draw a, a tunnel on the side yeah. of a road. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that was going it. around the other week, a couple weeks ago? Somebody had done that on the side of a wall, and somebody had crashed into it, <laughs> like on like on on a roadway. I'm not shitting you. There are if you Shit, ever see those uh, sidewalk drawings where it does look oh, three dimensional. Yeah, fall. Oh, yeah. It does look like yeah. you know at a certain angle. Those are so masters of perspective. Cool. Oh yeah, it's but they only work from that one spot. Oh you yeah, you know you look at it any other way, but it's always cool. But uh, yeah, and the the toys themselves was it, there's a Batman figure with uh, kryptonite gauntlets. So it's like okay, I wonder how Batman's beating Superman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. The suit in the Dark Knight Returns, yeah. it has like a c- cavity in the chest, didn't it? With like a chunk of kryptonite no. in it? No. No, didn't Green Arrow shoot it, it with was a kryptonite Green arrow. arrow? 
It, it's Green Arrow, and it's got like one a... One armed Green Arrow yes. shot him with a kryptonite With arrow. his teeth. He oh, wow. rolls it See, with I his teeth. Upside down. Shot it. Man, he's Green upside awesome. down. It, it's huh. technically he's trying to do it from a building, and I think the cops come after him or something. He ends up upside down, drawing the bow with his teeth. And what it was is it's a dust that sticks to Superman. And Batman more or less says... You know, it you know it cost a fortune. You know, and it, it took years. Luckily, I had both. You know, money and time. Yeah. You know, if I I could have made it a little bit stronger, if I made the adhesive just a little bit, you know, tougher, I could have killed yeah, so you any time. So he's kind like, of thing. he's like, oh crap, I don't. That pretty much what I said. Lex Luthor would do is what Batman did. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts wailing on him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just remember, I'm the one who beat Which, you. if he doesn't do that in this movie, I'm going to be... After, he's like, you know, Superman's all like, this could be over at any time if I wanted it. I just want him to get hit with that stuff and go, ahem, ahem. What the oh, hell? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Oh, shit, bam! <laughs> well, I'll tell you... Um, it's like, I want you. To, I want him to feel what it feels like to be human. What yeah. made me a lifelong Metallo fan. Do you know who Metallo is? Yeah. Man with the Kryptonite Heart. Mm-hmm. Really? Technically, okay, that. okay, Metallo is technically a cyborg with a power source of Kryptonite. Mm-hmm. So as I long as that. Superman can see him coming, you know, he's easily defeated. Mm-hmm. The whole point is the cyborg weakens him enough he can beat the ship. When they rebooted him in the, in the 80s, what it was was he wasn't your flamboyant villain. He didn't just come out and go, I have got a Kryptonite. Yeah. He shows up, robs a bank. He's got like, you know, synth- he, he technically looks like the Terminator. He looks like mm-hmm. Arnold almost. Superman shows up and Metal just starts kicking the shit out of him. And Superman don't know why. He's like, what the hell's yeah. going on? Yeah. And nearly kills him. I mean, it, mm-hmm. let Luthor come in and save Superman mm-hmm. to get the kryptonite. One of those, you can't uh, kill him, only I get to kill him yeah. kind of bullshit things. But I'm reading this book and Superman, is this the first time I'm like, was it 86? I'm like, 11. This is the first time I've ever seen Superman get his ass handed to him. <laughs> I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. And it was cool. And ever since then, I've just loved Metallo. Because he beat him up that one time. Well, and all it takes, it's like, okay, so now all you got to do is get a different, because you know, what is the building collapses, Metallo comes out, and his, all his fake skin's ripped off. And he does, he looks just like the Terminator. Right. Just you know, half of his face is ripped yeah. Off. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Just That's half. The most common yeah. image I always yeah. see in Metallo is he's got half, half a face. How does that always face? happen? Yeah, it's because. always because. Well, even when he got repaired in the cartoon, mm-hmm. yeah, he gets yeah. fixed, and but he's still missing half of it. Like why like, the hell nah, would you nah, do I'll that? Leave it. I like how it looks. Yeah, but it was just so. All you gotta do is get more fake skin, and just walk up behind Superman <laughs> and start kicking his ass again. Because no one would ever know. Hey, Supes, but, what, citizen? <laughs> Bam! Ah, oh, fuck! Motherfucker! Well, it's just oh, like the... Uh, mm, I always wondered mm. about that, like the Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. Did they know they were kids? Did the bad guys ever they find out? They knew who they were! Okay, they knew who they were. It's like, okay, here, here's the plan. Instead of making a 40-story a, a monster, we're going to make this like, super strong evil guy. He just looks like a normal guy. They're going to walk up behind him in school and snap their fucking That's neck. That's kind of what Tommy started <laughs> out know? as, but then like, you know, it's like they knew he was a bad... No, what Goldar needs to do is go to each of their... Like, while they're at Angel High... You blow and, the and damn just, place up. Just, like, kill their families. <laughs> yeah. Or it's one of those things, like, okay, so we throw one monster at them. Well, Rangers, I killed your families. <laughs> oh, my God. He's gutted my mother. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was always one of those, okay, so you throw one monster at him and you know it's over. Why don't you throw, like, five at him? <laughs> Just dogpile yeah. their ass and get it over with. Because uh, then they'll call on the green dragon oh, sword God. and the... My my and Titanus my, the carrier uh, sword and our yeah my youngest started watching the uh, was it Megaforce where oh, they yeah. can call on the powers of all the rangers yeah. oh yeah that was which a good which, one. which which is I don't know is all because I always thought that was some... a lot better in Japan well I always figured because I I never watched it but some looked like it was in the future some looked like it might have been in the past some was on another planet well you see, know... in the original the greatest thing was in the original Japanese show. Um, they were pirates. They were space pirates that came to Earth looking for the Power Rangers' powers. And so these aliens, they were aliens, and that's why all the future stuff, and they cut that completely out of the show. So, And there was one like guy who was like a super Power Rangers fan who knew everything about it. They got to be 
the like Silver Ranger. No. And so yeah, they were all pir- they were space pirates. Huh. Yeah. And so and that's why they look like pirates. And it was so great cuz it was like oh, I just oh, that was well, one of the best shows. So being a pirate requires you to dress in clothing that Go looks Kaiger. like that. that was the yeah, name they of the they show. were they were Power Even Ranger fanboys is what they were cuz they dressed yeah. just like the Power Rangers yeah. except with more pirate theme. Right, right. But I just like the idea that, that space pirates, uh, I don't know what they looked like. I'm guessing like they had tricorner hats and like epaulets. No, 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 but they had, the, they had the high collars <laughs> Let me see if I can and they had this. like the crossbones on their chest. Yeah, right. <laughs> the two swords crossing. Pretty much, it's like, okay, hey, we're going to be a team in Japan. That's great. Who's going to be red? Who's going to be yellow? That's like every team in Japan. Mm-hmm. You have to do the They're primary color-coded. colors. Right. You have All to. the time. Yeah, you know. Do you think, well, I don't know. When I think team in America, like, they all wear the same color, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's how sports yeah, work. Yeah, see, that's anyway. what they look like, the guys. And they were space pirates. And they look human, and they look like teenagers. Yeah, no, but they're from space. So what was the yeah. whole point of even trying to look human? I, th- they were human. Humans populated the whole universe. Okay, so this was in the future. No, it's present day for us. Okay, but, so it's present day space pirates from people who populated the universe. Yeah, they were like taken away a long time ago or something. I don't know fucking how it works. <laughs> oh, hey, wait. Speaking of that, okay, what's um, I noticed in I believe in the Force Awakens. Yep. Maybe it was in one of the prequels or I don't know. They referred to um, people as humans, so oh. they are humans even in this distant galaxy, uh, in this distant time. Right, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess they, well, I guess they still they classify were... themselves as humans. That is yeah. true. We're like on Star Trek. They always say, "Well, they're Martians or Berliniums from the planet, whatever." Yeah. They never say that. They never say, "You know, Princess Leia is an old well, granny." See, but see, that's or yeah. the weird thing is, is there's humans, but then they're from different planets, like they're Corillians, right, okay. or stuff like that. So, yeah. so I don't know. Humans are on several planets. Yeah. I'm guessing like Battlestar Galactica, they were from one central source at one time. Oh. Right. Were they? I can't remember if they were referred to as humans. I guess they were on Battlestar Galactica, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. I don't remember. It just makes me think there's got to be some kind of a connection, right? Did is there in the ext- I mean the non the extended universe it doesn't exist it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, like, are the, st- are the Star Wars people, like, did they come to Earth and populate Earth Okay, there point? is a comic, but it's a kind of a what-if comic. Yeah. Where Indiana Jones goes looking for Bigfoot, and it turns out to be Chewbacca the Wookiee. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I know I'll they've got it. long lifespans, but that's a bit. Yeah, that is a bit. That's a uh, but, But then yeah. they just say a long time ago. Yeah. So a long time that's... ago could be 30 years. Right. You know, we don't know. Well, that wasn't that long ago. Come on, guys. Mm. <laughs> you know... Uh, I, let me see if I can find that. Email. They've got a lot of fan theory going on for The Force Awakens. My favorite one, though, is it goes uh, uh, Ray's real parents. It's the, the couple from uh, Spaceballs. Yeah. That is, that is. <laughs> what, what was that? It was Princess uh, uh, Drew, Vespa. Yeah, from Vespa, Drew. Yeah. Was it Drew Whitty or Drew Whitty? <laughs> Drew Funny. Whitty. She doesn't look Drewish. <laughs> Drew Whitty. Yeah, yeah, she don't look Drewish. And Lone Star. Oh, yeah. You Only should've... one man that would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Star. <laughs> That's a great movie. Yeah. Speaking of sequels, we already Spe- know about that. Yeah, I am. All right, well, we're over an hour. Well, any, any real quick, um, don't you guys hate it when you, you go say, hey, let's let's cook dinner. Get Let's watch yes. this movie. I oh. hate cooking and, dinner. And you all get settled down. You don't put this movie in. And it's like, it's not playing right. Why isn't it? And you pull it out, and it's cracked. Uh, like, no, how in the hell did this get... does not happen to my DVDs. They're pristinely kept. And <laughs> Yeah, with your little uh, no, Tasmanian I can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> she, she knows. Her DVDs look like shit. My DVDs look good, because she don't get to touch my DVDs. Do either of you guys have Kung Fu Hustle on DVD? Because it's no. not on Netflix or Amazon. No. Or, hmm. okay. I have Kung Pao Enter the Fist. We started watching Into the Badlands. I should have <laughs> Kung Fu Hustle. That was a good movie. And I was like, Hatchets. We got to watch Kung Fu Hustle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's not. I available. love how like how many Kung Fu masters live in that like squalid tenement <laughs> in that movie. Yeah. Oh, even the, the little old lady who runs the I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, cause, yeah, Candy hasn't seen it. 
And uh, we watched. Like, what uh, are the odds of that? There's like six yeah. kung fu masters that live there. Well, back then everybody knew kung fu. I mean, shit. <laughs> back but then they it looked masters. like it was like they were 19. Like, Super 20s or 40s. Yeah, or it looked like, like it was the 1930s or something. It's like not that far ago. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. So, all right, I'll keep looking, I guess. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, oh, I wish I did. Apparently, on a WWE, mm-hmm. uh, Stardust mm-hmm. is wearing uh, Ziggy Stardust <laughs> uh, makeup. Oh, no, that's fine. So it says still... just for one day. So it's just a tribute thing. I'm sure no, they won't mention it. Just but... one day. That's also a yeah. hero in reference to the song Heroes. So and we can be heroes for our right. less. Uh... Uh, just for one day. All right. Let's, let's... I can't hit the high notes. I'm not... I can't do that. Oh, you nailed it. There you go. I could be king. All right. Just sing the uh, Here we'll go. Dylan version. He didn't have. To, he didn't hit any high notes. You <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, what was that Jacob on? Dylan. Oh, okay. what was, was he that? the wallflower when he was yeah. in the wall? Mm. Yeah. The what? Oh, I'm thinking he's doing that. I'm th- all I can think of is South Park. Hmm. It's like no, that's not what it was. Is in South Park they they put bombs on cows. I think it was, and they uh, someone was coming to sing at one of the football. It was some famous guy. Do do do. Oh, then, uh, well, no, no, it's not him. It's his brother. He can't hit the high note. It oh, set, yeah. set it to hit one of It was Loving hit. You was the song. Yeah, Loving You. Uh, but what was That's the, like way back Eric like Rob. No, no. Um, yeah, it was first or second season. Yeah. You had Ned. Loving You is easy because you're beautiful. beautiful. Do, 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 do. Ah, he could never hit the high mm-hmm. notes. <laughs> Um, I think it was Eric um, Mag Mag. Wait, what was his name? I remember the episode. Um, Draven. Let's say Eric Draven. Eric Draven, the Crow. Yes. <laughs> Another Can't good movie I've not time. watched in a while. Oh, yeah. where I was going with the I don't movie. know that I would think it was good anymore. I don't know. I'm I'm hesitant to watch it. I, I want the. Me. I think the boys would like it, but there's that whole rape scene that you yeah. have to. That's kind of essential to the, the plot. plot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll see. The movie was going to watch, and I end up getting it on eBay cheap, and finally getting an interview with the vampire. Mm-hmm. I probably have not literally watched this big movie. Big gay owls, nearly... big gay goat boat, boat ride, ride is the name of the episode. <laughs> I probably fifteen to twenty years I've not seen this movie. And so we're sitting eating, and my wife's like, no, there's nothing in this, oh, Wow, right? really? Oh, did, you didn't? No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. There's like a whole, that's the first time I think I ever saw Bush on film. <laughs> it was uh, Porky, not Porky's, uh, Revenge of the Nerds for me. Mm. We had Bush. See, I only saw the, uh, the oh, TV man. one for that I Revenge of the Nerds. Maybe Mary like, Oh, shit, Prom cover your too. eyes, cover your eyes, guys. I mean, so this is like, let's say, 13-year-old me. Just watching this vampire movie, and I'm like, man, you're taking her top off. Oh, those are boobies. Why are you taking the bottom up? Holy crap, there's hair! She got hair down there! Isn't there a part where he, like, I don't know if he bites a nipple off? But no. He, no. He, he does, like, suck no, blood he, out he of sucks her. No, he sucks it. Yeah, he bites her And breath. he walks away, and she looks down, and there's blood running yeah. down her yeah, dress. That yeah, that happens in, um, maybe with prostitutes or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one she the, throws in the coffin. Or no, that's the other one. No, that's the one he throws in the coffin. Yeah, that's the one he throws in yeah. the coffin. But uh, we watched that in Lost Boys this weekend. Oh, Lost Boys. And both of them was like, oh, I don't know if I want to watch you. Death by stereo. And then finally he's like, that was pretty cool. Yeah, no yeah, shit. That was pretty cool. pretty cool. Both those movies well, are fucking awesome. Go watch them right now. Yeah, man. I haven't seen that forever either, man. That I know. Lost Boys. And I'm, I'm trying to get up the nerve to watch Queen of the Damned. Uh, now, the, the question was, is it a bad movie or yes. is it a bad movie compared to, cause since Interview came out, <laughs> now, if Interview had never bad. come out. That's what? still a bad movie. <laughs> Although, And I, I, I feel so bad for Stuart Townsend because I actually oh. really like him. But, man, he has been in nothing but shit movies. Wasn't he in Vampirella? Uh, I think he was. Oh, it was like an HBO movie, Vampirella. Really? I think Towns okay, is that. He was in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> Townsend. Well, who, Sean who was Connery Townsend? was in that too. Townsend like, was, uh, he was. He played Lestat in. Uh, oh no! Yeah, Lestat and um, oh, yeah. and uh, Dorian Gray. Gray. Yeah. 
Hey, I still have the soundtrack to Queen of the Damned, the music. It's a good, good. it's pretty good. Uh, the, the soundtrack's good, <laughs> at least. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, he ain't worked much. Let's see. Oh, League yeah. of Extraordinary Gentlemen in 2003. Head in the Clouds, The Best Man, Eon Flux. Ooh. Ooh. Chaos Ooh. Theory. Battle in Seattle. Maggie Hill and A Stranger in Paradise. Hmm. That's it. Yeah. Well, so what? He wasn't in... Uh, Queen of the Damned. Yeah, was. no, yeah, he was. Two thousand two, Queen of the Damned. Oh, that was before. Oh, that was yeah. the Lion no. Court. Mm-hmm. Okay. Huh. I don't see Vampirella on here though. No, I, was, I wasn't thinking. I was thinking somebody else with the last name Townsend or something like that. Mm. I think the musician is who I was thinking. Of. Yeah. Oh, Pete Townsend. Yeah. Was it Pete? Yeah. Oh, Look up Vampirella. Maybe. Oh, I've got fair. Or Devin Townsend. That's a maybe a deep cut. Anybody who knows Devin Townsend, send me a message and tell me. Uh, yeah, it's like, because I have no idea what you're talking uh, Devin, if you listen to this show, get a hold of me. I got 1996, I got an direct to movie. Oh, Roger Daltrey? That might be who I'm thinking of. Ah, the of. other guy from The Who. <laughs> that might be who I'm thinking of. Oh, Talisa Soto. Huh. She was in uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, oh, and License to Kill. Oh, I forgot she was in License to Kill. <laughs> Jeez, wait, yeah. what? Who's that? Like we're, yeah. She yeah. was like playing. I'm guessing she played now. Vampirella. Oh, License to Kill, huh? Yeah, she played. Um, well, that was she played like uh, mid eighties, right? Uh, uh, what's his name? Not Benicio del Toro, but his boss's girlfriend. Man, Benicio You're del right? Toro. I don't know. <laughs> Getting old, Cassie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think something my eight <laughs> is not agreeing with me. Oh. Since we're talking about no off. If I crap my pants during this podcast, I'm, I'll make sure it's loud enough that the <laughs> viewers can them. hear it. Let's wrap this thing up. Oh, real quick, I do have I do have the whole series of uh, The Tick, if anybody wants to borrow Ooh, it. Which one? The cartoon? Spoon! or the no. okay, live, live, live action yeah. show. Yeah. Now I realize why it didn't. <laughs> I don't know. That I first was episode fine. was pretty funny when yeah. he's talking about the vending machine. Or, right. or when there was it. Netflix, too. If you was know, it I Captain think. Immortal Died? You remember that one? Uh, God, it's the it's the uh, American maid. They change her yeah. name for the show, right. but she's having sex with him, and he has a heart attack and dies. So yeah. they've got to get rid of the body. So they're trying to, they, they, they they what happened to your hair? It's like well, whenever he you know gets you know I was on top, and whenever he gets you know he kind of you know zip zip zip. They look up at her ceiling, and her ceiling's burned from <laughs> his, his heat vision going Gosh. off. Like, hey, yeah, I don't think the boys will be watching this. <laughs> I no. don't think they need to. I think the cartoon series is probably better. Oh, yeah. I right. love that. Spoon. I used to have like a, I don't know, I probably had at least 12 hours of that on video, like oh. that I taped off a of TV. Chairface Chippendale. Right. Dave the Tick. He was the other tick. Time. Okay. Who took my name? <laughs> uh, was he red or something? He was like orangish, brownish color. Yeah. Okay. He really looked, tried to look more like a tick. He had yeah. a shield with uh, the legs on it. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Oh, no. Dave ain't gonna like this. What was it? I am the mad, bu- what, mad midnight bomber who bombs at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite lines that I, I still use sometimes is uh, uh, there some, some like, you know, galactic thing is going to blow up the earth. And the tick says, you know, you can't blow up the earth. That's where I keep all my stuff. stuff. <laughs> Which I thought was a great line. And I still do. It is. What was it? They they only stopped uh, Chairface Chippendale from not totally writing his name on the Yeah, because yeah. it's what had half his name written Cha. on the and, and since then, every time they showed the moon, it was C-H. Yeah, <laughs> I love that bit of continuity. That's good. All right, real quick. Which X-Men has real wings? An angel. Angel. Which supervillain tore the antimantium out of Wolverine? Magneto. Who was the Magneto. who was Hot Guy married to? Mockingbird. Hot yes. Oh. Bobby Morris. Yep. What did Hot Girl think of that? Weren't they supposed to be destined? Well, that's to, Hawk like, Man. That's Hawk she... Man. Oh wait, Hawk... we're, we're talking She's Hawk probably guy thinking, "Good, now Avengers. I can go bang Cisco." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who was? Because I love so... that she's like, I have to leave with him because he's Hawk Man and I'm Hawk Girl. What rank <laughs> did Steve Rogers hold in the army? Captain. I want to just say private. I don't think he went very I don't, far I don't in think the he actual. Was a captain. He was like an I... honorary I... captain. Yeah, honorary. But I'm going to say corporal. corporal Where did American Spidey's kind of enemy? doppelganger come from uh Dimension. thanos created him during infinity war no it was uh i thought it was it wasn't thanos it was uh the magnus 
Oh, the we, evil yeah, version of Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock, that's right. Oh, well, it says the Infinity War, which mm. was caused by Magnus. Okay, well, Angel, right. Magneto, Magnus, Mockingbird. Just... He was a private. Private, there you go. Because yeah. he was always, it's like, oh, dude, I'm Gomer oh. Powell. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh, I got to well, go. Golly. I'd love it if they did that. And yeah, it was like, Rogers, go. Was, I've got to go save the country. You know, <laughs> How did how did Bucky Barnes find out that he was oh. Captain America? He went into the tent while Rogers was changing <laughs> and no. saw him. And oddly Whoopie enough, dude. he goes, he, uh, uh, Bucky Barnes was the mascot for the, the camp. And uh, it's like, hey, now you know who I am. Now I've got to take you on dang- dangerous missions with me. Here, put these tights <laughs> on, boy. <laughs> but, but I'm a child. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> was it was... Uh, Oh god! Why was there an eight, like a ten-year-old boy running around in the middle of a World War II battlefield in the first place? Okay, hold that. What was the name? It was. Uh, it, was it was a different time, Matt. It was Looney Tunes, or it was Tiny Tunes, but it was like Pork Chop the Pig Hostage. Did you ever oh, see? Oh that? yeah, <laughs> shit. He had the bullseye on his chest. Yeah. And... What was that? Was that Duck Dodgers? No. No, I think it was like Tiny Tunes. That was Hampton the Pig. Was the yeah? Guy it was who Hampton the it. Pig. Yeah. Hampton? But well, yeah. That was uh, that Garfield spinoff thing. No, 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 there was a. It was it was where all the original Looney Tunes cast was teachers at a university and the yeah. kids. Tiny Tunes Adventures. Yeah, it was Tiny Tunes Adventures. Right, there right. was a girl bunny before Lola. I forget her name. Yep. Uh-huh. But all right, let's wrap her up, boys. Okay. All right. So, send all complaints, including the weird stomach noises that I don't know if the mic is picking them up. But they've been doing it all, I don't know what I ate, but it'll... So it will if you, happen to you. If you hear weird stuff during your listening, it was my stomach. It was not time. Satan. So it I might just, Satan. as soon as I get done talking, turn around here and vomit everything I've ate for the last 12 hours up Run on. up to try to get outside before that happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, right all over mm-hmm. Will's floor. No. All right, so uh, send all your complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. You can also go to Facebook at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You should like it. That's what you should do. Yeah. 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 That's Wait, which one was that? At Facebook. Yeah, I like it. You were so bored by YouTube. It. <laughs> All right, we're also at uh, Twitter at Scramblecast. Wait, there's also good stuff at at Facebook. Did you tell them that? We we well, have all kinds of articles. All the good and stuff. stuff. Well, that's good that's where you want to go. Yeah. All the best stuff. Yeah. Is there. Yep. It's everything. There's a, right. You're already there all day. You'll probably right? win Listeners? the Powerball if you go there and read it. Yeah. yeah go buy your tickets. It's like 1.4 billion. I, I bought mine already. Billions. Because I'm do a little good luck. I'm figuring. I heard if you uh, if you buy six hundred thousand dollars worth of tickets, you increase your odds by like ten percent. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm hey, gonna I'll, tell you, I never buy them, and I am gonna go buy some. I haven't decided that if I win, it's gonna be the. Oops. <laughs> Okay, what the heck? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I if I win, down. it's going to be the Will and Nick show, or we're going to have the finest studio ever. That's yeah. what I looked at. I was going to build a studio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's going right. to be the. It's, it's no, none of more of these soundproof curtains. It's going to be actual, like, oh. milk. It's, it's, it's only be egg cartons on this yeah. wall. It'll be an actual milk building curtains. with, you know, tables and chairs. Yeah. And we're going to have separate little booths where we can just look at each other through glass. And, oh, wait, that sounds <laughs> yeah. like a strip joint. Never mind. <laughs> Do we all have to put a quarter to, yeah. to talk to each other in the wall? Right. <laughs> put one. Okay. In, okay. So yeah, peep show. Man. I gotta pay for it. I only have one point three billion dollars. Yeah. When, when you're that rich and you can do your own private peep, or you can have your own personal peep. <laughs> show. I built it into my house. I, <laughs> yeah. You know, the hilarious thing would be like if you built that, you had the strip in there, like yes, awesome. You get in there, and he's like, shit, I don't carry cash <laughs> on me anymore. <laughs> so she's just stripping away in there, and you can't see nothing because the thing's down. You'd have to call out, hey, honey, bring me some quarters. <laughs> what, so you can Kismo. look at that whore? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now bring them to me, damn it. I built this damn peep show in here for a reason. <laughs> I actually got Madonna. Oh, Remember God. the video? Oh, God, no. No. Not uh, no. Close no. it, close it, close <laughs> it. Never mind. I don't want to see this. No. 80s Madonna, maybe. Not not, not 2016 Madonna. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Um, 
you're, uh, we're also on iTunes. Yep. You can yeah. go there, subscribe, review. That would be the best thing you should ever do. Right. It's actually, that's uh, arguably more important than mm. going to Facebook. Or YouTube. You could go to YouTube, YouTube. and subscribe there as well. We're yep. still looking for number 100. I'm sure yeah, we're just true. about ready to go over that oh, threshold. Oh, man. You would not believe. Like 90, <laughs> 98, I'm sure. Needed. 90, 99. <laughs> oh, wait. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. It's inverted. Yeah. So 89. All right. <laughs> Right? <laughs> no. No. Uh, yeah, not transposed. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, inverted would just okay. be upside down. Come on. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Uh, or you could just go to www.scramblebrainscast.com where you can find links to all this stuff. Yeah. There. Just do that. Uh, Why don't links you do, to start other, there. other Words Co. shows are on there. Uh, yep. Like Kinnick, 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 Kinnick. Yeah. Kinnick, starring yours truly. Yeah. As the hero. And yours truly. Yes. And not. <laughs> we have a role for you in the next episode. Yeah, there you go. Of Nick, Nick, no. I think uh, I call myself the hero. I uh, I talk about how I want half naked high school girls or something like that. Oh I yeah. Forget. Well, you don't talk about it. No, I don't but, talk about it. I just wish for it. Yeah. If you want to hear more about that, tune in to LakeKinnickNick dot com. In the credits, man one. <laughs> man There's one. no man two. Just man one. Right. Everybody else got a name, by the way. I'm just saying. Batman One. I, I still say that uh, my name should be uh, Manny Uno. <laughs> Manny Uno. Well, if you, yeah, maybe in the next one you can do it with a, you can speak in Spanish. We'll call you. I do the, I do the uh, Spanish. Hombre. Hombre. How you doing, man? Uno. Manny, Manny Uno. How you doing, man? You do, we'll do it good, man. Yeah, since apparently we can't get El Chapo now. <laughs> you know, El Chapo. What? The big Mexican drug lord that uh, oh! tunneled his way out, yeah. and he got captured because he had an interview with Sean Penn. Huh. Pretty much, uh, that. Sean Sorry, Penn did an interview with him. I He's wanna... on the run. He did an interview with Sean Penn for Rolling Stone. I want to. Huh. I want. And they used that interview to catch him, or they huh. they, they, they was able to find out where he was from it. I want to think that in the middle of talking to Sean Penn, a pizza guy comes in and drops it down, and he's like, "El Chapo's like." Mr. Penn, what are you doing? And he's like, going to have some fun. Learn about some history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to have to go out on that. Goodbye, okay. Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. <laughs>